So the next episode of Star Trek The Next Generation is called The Outrageous Okana. And this is one of those episodes that I don't think I remember very well, but we'll see. Um, there is a guy named Okana that comes aboard, yeah, he comes aboard the Enterprise for some reason. Um, and he is kind of, uh, the episode obviously thinks he's very cool, but he's kind of like, a nerd's idea of what a cool person is like and he's got this ponytail and he makes friends with Wesley and they're hanging out together and he's got like a a jewel in his pocket that he like takes out and looks at from time to time for no reason um, uh, meanwhile Data is trying to learn about humor in this episode I think and he goes to the uh, to the holodeck, even though last episode the holodeck didn't work out so well for him, but this time he goes to the holodeck, he makes a comedian uh, to help with his humor, and he does some stand-up comedy, um, Data does, uh, and but what happens is he's doing like stand-up comedy routine and the audience is laughing at whatever he says, no matter how funny, and he's like discouraged because it's just like a, an audience that doesn't know what humor is. I believe he talks to Guinan and Guinan tells him a joke that she thinks is hilarious but Data doesn't think it's funny because he doesn't have a sense of humor. Um, meanwhile, um, what's happening in this episode? Oh yeah, the outrageous Okana. Okana is, some people come and they're like, we want to arrest Okana. There's like two different sets of people. They're kind of like in a, in a, uh, in a little bit of a feud. So the two ships come and they beam on the ship, on the ship. And there's like, there's a, a guy with his son and a guy with his daughter. Uh, they're both grown, grown children. They're not little. They're, they're grown. And the guy with the son is like, I want to arrest Okana or execute him or something because he stole our precious family jewel. And we know that Okana's been hanging out. He's got a jewel in his pocket. So like sketchy, maybe he did. And um, the other guy is like, no, no, no. Your jewel, who cares? It's way more important for me to arrest, beat up, give Okana good talking to because he impregnated my daughter and like he was very dishonorable and they're like and he's like oh wow that does seem rough and she's, like, she's like yeah I'm pregnant with Okana's baby yeah that's what it is so the outrageous Okana comes comes in and he's like I'm so outrageous uh, but what actually in it but he like explains everything he's like what happened is I have the jewel, but I didn't steal it because I was going to take the jewel from you and give it to this girl who is pregnant. She's not pregnant with my kid. She just said that so that this, this other kid wouldn't get in trouble. And in fact, you guys are rivals, but your kids are in love and he wanted to give the jewel to his pregnant girlfriend so they could be married and everyone's like oh wow this is just like Romeo and Juliet except for with a happy ending because no one gets killed and so the two uh, two lovebirds get to like reunite and uh, they get their jewel and get married and the outrageous Okana as outrageous as he is he does not get executed, blown up, even get it. He doesn't even get a stern talking to. And that is the end of the outrageous Okada. Bye.